His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of the new Hijri year 1437. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Premier wished His Majesty the King health and happiness to continue the development march and for Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister thanking him for his earlier cable on the occasion. His Majesty wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister good health and happiness and for Bahrain and Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of new, the new Hijri year 1437. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Majesty the King health and happiness and for Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanking him for his cable on the occasion. His Majesty wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince good health and happiness and for Bahrain. Bahrain and Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of the GCC countries marking the new Hijri year 1437. His Majesty the King exchanged cables with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the King of Saudi Arabia, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Jabr Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, and His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Majesty wished them good health and happiness and for the GCC people many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also exchanged cables of good wishes with presidents of Arab and Islamic countries on the occasion of the new Hijri year 1437. In the cables, His Majesty wished them good health and happiness and for their countries and people for their progress and prosperity and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the new Hijri year 1437. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister good health and happiness, and for Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanking him for his cable on the occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince good health and happiness, and for Bahrain and Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with GCC leaders, premiers and crown princes marking the new Hijri year 1437. His Royal Highness the Premier exchanged cables with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the King of Saudi Arabia, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Jabr Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, and His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished them good health and happiness and for their countries and people for their progress and prosperity and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa also exchanged cables of good wishes with presidents of the Arab and Islamic countries on the occasion of the new Hijri year 1437. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished them good health and happiness and for their countries and people for their progress and prosperity and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of good wishes with GCC leaders and Crown Princes marking the new Hijri year 1437. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince exchanged cables with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the King of Saudi Arabia, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Jabr Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, and His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished them good health and happiness and for their countries and people for their progress and prosperity and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also exchanged cables of good wishes with presidents of the Arab and Islamic countries on the occasion of the new Hijri year 1437. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished them good health and happiness and for their countries and people for their progress and prosperity and many happy returns. 
Bahrain's parliamentary delegation participates in the 133rd session of the Inter-Parliamentary Union meeting in Geneva. Parliament Speaker Mr. Ahmed Ibrahim Al Mullah will lead the delegation to the meeting that will be held from the 17th to the 21st of October. In his speech before the gathering, Mr. Al Mullah is expected to address the political and parliamentary reforms in Bahrain, in addition to the repercussions of the economic challenges and terrorist acts in the region, as well as the effects of the humanitarian situation in a number of countries and the displacement of refugees refugees and migrants. Bahrain's parliamentary delegation takes part in the inter-parliamentary union meeting because the kingdom is an active and main member in a number of Arab and international unions and legislative institutions. The delegation will shed the light on the important achievements and steps taken by Bahrain in the various fields and convey the true picture of what is happening in the kingdom. The delegation will also reveal the truth about Bahrain's security and stability in addition to its vital role in supporting and strengthening the role of parliamentary diplomacy.